Applying advanced optimization and machine learning enables us to make sound and systematic investment decisions, improving investment performance. Our goal is to identify patterns in behavior of a set of stocks based on historical prices using a form of unsupervised learning that only depends upon the stock price movements. The graphical analysis algorithm takes the weekly returns of the stocks as inputs, feeding it into three unsupervised learning techniques and outputs a graphical network analysis plot, visualizing the dependency structure of the stock returns. Each node corresponds to a stock. The color is defined by the cluster label from the clustering method, the affinity propagation algorithm. The stocks are located in neighborhoods, defined by the multidimensional scaling algorithm. Each cluster identifies stocks that display similar behavior with regard to interrelationships of stock prices to each other. Each edge links two stocks. The strength of the edge is defined by the sparse inverse covariance matrix, a precision matrix estimated using graphical lasso. The higher the strength value, the darker and thicker the edge, indicating that the stocks at the ends of the edge are more conditionally correlated. We want to find out how the plot evolves over time and how the plot's branches change as the penalty term for the graphical lasso increases. These graphical analysis plots each use weekly returns from January 2011 to June 2020 with a five-year rolling window. The plots are updated monthly. At the beginning of the time period, there are only three clusters, the banks, Apple by itself, and all other firms with the S&P 500 market index. As time changes, a new cluster emerges, grouping the four firms from the energy sector together. Stocks from the same sector are usually grouped together. For example, most of the banks are clustered together. Tech sector firms are grouped together with the S&P 500 market index at the center of the graph. Finally, two firms from the health sector form a new cluster. Machine learning approaches involve a set of parameters determined by a training step. Here, the main parameter involves a penalty term, lambda, the shrinkage turning parameter from the graphical lasso technique. Lambda controls the number of edges in the graph. As lambda increases, the number of edges reduce. When lambda equals zero, there is no penalty imposed and too many linkages. When lambda equals 0.9, there is too much penalty imposed and very few linkages. The best lambda is determined using cross-validation and allows a better fit for estimation purposes.